individual, my mentor, mentor X, me, my mentor, I wouldn't do this, right? This is sort of dangerous, but um, my, my mentor, mentor, mentor X, me, has created this system of values, and he knows better than anyone how this system unfolds, and he has an insight that I don't yet have. So not only do they buy into the values, and then they buy into the system of values, but they buy into the individual person that makes sense of this system. The system is something hard for me to wrap my mind around. The system is not intuitive. The system requires a bit of expertise in the area, and this guy or girl or gal has an insight like none other. So I buy into the individual. What ends up happening then is once you get to the point where you really are buying into sort of the individual, then now I have control. Now I can get you to do what I want you to do, and you will do what I want you to do, right? This is, this is, not, this is not child's play. This is some seriously, you know, seriously dangerous stuff because now I can implement the true purpose of the design. What ends up happening is now I can appeal to what's hidden. You bought into the system, but what you didn't realize is now I'm going to make appeal, which I will never disclose to you. My real intent, the agenda, that which is hidden, right? It's been hidden, why? Because it's been designed, quote by Nietzsche, it's been designed to maintain and increase human constructs of domination. I'm going to implement a system of domination where you want to do X and the system says that you can't do X and I reaffirm that you can't do X then I am going to be able to control your behavior because despite the fact that you want to do X, I'm going to say, you can't do it. And if you are a true follower, a true believer, you'll see the role of belief and power in a second. I'll explain that because it's very important. If you are a true believer, then you are going to suppress all of that desire to do X and conform, right? So that the, the point of this system is both conformity and control and domination, right? And then what ends up happening is that you now are controlled. I now control how you govern yourself in the world, right? What ends up happening is that since the ultimate appeal to the system of value rests in an individual, then I can curtail once I recognize that you have opted in and you've given everything to this ideological system of belief, and I recognize that that ultimate appeal to the system is an appeal to me, then I can, I can modify the system at will. You know, the system says that you ought to do why, but I was always taught that that was wrong. Well, think about this, and then I go, and I go, and I go, and I start the brainwashing. I don't believe in sort of that psychology stuff per se, but it, there, there are there are philosophical ways, I think more sound ways, of implementing a system of control that makes more sense than having to talk about <clears throat> the fact that you, 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 have some, you, know, uh, you have some problems because of your, your childhood or uh, penis envy or womb envy and all this other stuff, right? I can create a system in which I can control every action that you do once I recognize that you have opted into the system and that that system is ultimately dogmatically housed in me. Right? Now you follow what I say. Now you do what I say. Now you act the way I want you to act. Right? Because to do otherwise is to go against the values that I've infused within you. Right? These values are now inside of you. Right? It's, it's, it's part of who you are. I've infused it into the, according to Nietzsche, into the essence of things. Right? And I falsely, he says, I falsely projected it. Right? I falsely, this is 12b, falsely projected it into the essence of things, right? So, um, this is a bit, you know, a bit, uh, it's a bit powerful. It's, it's, it's some, for me, it's some super, 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 super deep, uh, deep stuff. Uh, and the implications of this are, are unbelievable, right? What we have to recognize then, um, we need at this point to make sense of belief. The thing that I love about Nietzsche is that his logic, um, as always, is, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's impeccable, right? But his logic, you can see the precision in which the ideas unfold, right? 
what we need to understand at this point is the fact that you have opted into the system that the value positors have created for the purpose of controlling you requires that you believe, right? But the question is, insofar as you believe, how does that relate to power, right? How does that relate to power? What is the relationship between belief and power? And this is the true gem, right? This is the first, for me, the first true gem. There's a lot of gems in this text, but this is the first true gem in the text, right? Is the explicit relationship between belief and power. Let me mute that. Uh, that was Procession of the Nobles, by the way, which is my default ringtone. My bad. Uh, so, um, was it belief? So this is the, this is the true system of power, right? The relationship, at least the introductory phase, the relationship between belief and power. How can we make sense of this relationship between belief and power? So let's talk about that now. So this is uh, power's relation to belief. So that belief belief in power. Okay, first bullet point. And this this for me, you know, I get a little excited because this is where it gets this is where it gets really good. What what I'm attempting to do is two things. One, I'm attempting to show you, sort of bring you in at a much deeper, much, 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 much deeper level into sort of my train of thought when I'm reading the text, right? And what it is, it's taking assorted notes in Nietzsche and looking for the themes in those notes so that we'll be jumping around as with respect to the notes. I'll go from note 12 to note 14 to note 13 and da 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 But the continuity of the idea will pertain to this idea of belief and power. How is it we need to address and we need to understand? How is it that you gain power in individuals believing in, well, at a, at a sort of ancillary level, the system, and more importantly, in you. How do you gain power by people believing in the system that you've posited, the value system, and ultimately in you as a leader or whatever it might be that you are, right? Number one, um, this comes from note 14. I took the idea from note 14 as, and I want to read it. Uh, and I'll read it because it's very short. No 14, page 14. Values and their changes are related to increases in power. Values and their changes, changes in values, are related to increases in power of those positing the value. Values and their changes, fluctuations in value, are connected to, are related to, those, the power of those who posit the value. Okay, so if I posit value, right, if I'm the person that's positing value, then there is a relationship between the power that I have, the weakening, the ebbing and flowing of my power, and the effectiveness of what I have posited, what I've created, what I've put there for others to consume. Right? Um, and that's what we're going to try and explain. So point one on page six says, as one's power increases, one increases his ability as a value positor. This is very important. Right? As It's a correlation. As my power increases, right, as my power, and we'll understand more sort of the full meaning of power as we progress, but for now, as my power increases, my ability as a value positor increases, right, and I just read the justification for that in line 14, right, so as my power increases, my, uh, what did I say, uh, my ability as a value positor also increase, right? As my power increases, as I become more of a figure, right? As, I, you know, I'm just, you know, regular Joe Schmo on the street, you know, I come up with this great idea, I put the idea out there, people start slowly to ascribe to this belief, there's a system, it elevates me in power, I become almost this cult, godlike, if you will, figure, now, I've, I'm no longer who I used to be, just some little kid on the street. Now I'm this big ideological powerhouse. So when I posit values now into the world, it has way more influence, right? That just, I'm trying to do ghetto version, but that, that's the idea, right? And I don't, I, that's obviously true, right? That's obviously true. It'll get deeper, but that's just obviously true, right? Number two, 
um, value positors have 